Hello everyone, I'm Lorinas and welcome to my quick Shopify setup guide in under 15 minutes. Today I'll take you from zero to a fully operational online store. We'll start by selecting the perfect theme that matches your brand, then move on to adding products and wrap up with setting up payment methods so you can start accepting orders right away. By the end of this video, not only will you have your own online store, but you will be equipped with all the tools needed to start generating sales right away. If you're ready to start building your own online store, the first step is to sign up with Shopify. You can begin with a free trial using the link in the description, and then it's only one euro for the first month if you choose to continue. It's a great opportunity to start at a lower cost. Just click the link below, follow the simple sign up process, and you're ready to go. Once you sign up, you can select your plan. And as you can see, if you follow the link below, the first month is only one euro or one pound. I would recommend going for the basic plan. However, if you want to save some money, you can also go for the starter plan which limits you a little bit and the credit card rates are higher. However, if you're on a lower budget, it's also a good plan to start and you can always upgrade to a different plan later. Okay, so once you've selected your plan, we're gonna go through the boring stuff first. It's important to set up the basic settings for the store correctly, so let's go through that. Okay, so to change the settings, we're gonna go down here to store settings. And first we're gonna name the store. So the name can be anything, but keep in mind, it will be on your website, on your homepage, and also it will appear on invoices and emails your customers receive. So it can be anything, but don't choose something silly. For now, I'm just going to keep it in my store for the sake of this tutorial. On this store details page, uh, you can change your store email and billing information and so on. And it's important to change the billing information correctly. Uh, because it will all be on the invoices that uh, people receive after purchasing. So let's do that. So if you're selling as a sole trader, you can just put in your name here and uh, your address. Uh, and all this information will appear on the invoices when people buy. However, if you have an LLC, you can put your uh, your LLC details here. Carrying on with the store currency. <clears throat> so the store currency is basically the currency that your products will be sold at. So you can set it at anything. If you're selling in the US, you can send to dollars. If you're selling in the United Kingdom, you can sell to pounds, Europe, euros, and so on. There's also a payout currency. So if you gather payments in pounds, but you live in Europe, you can receive payments from Shopify in euros. One important thing to mention about the store currency, if you have a store full of products and you're selling in pounds and suddenly you decide to sell in India, for example, and you want to change the store currency. So if you go in here and change the store currency to rupees, just one important thing to mention, if you decide to update your currency for some reason, you go into a new marketplace, for example, you want to update it to Indian rupees, none of the prices will update. So if you were selling something for $20 or 20 pounds, you'll be selling that for 20 rupees. So be careful and update your prices. All right, so once you're done with the essential settings, let's move on to the fun stuff. Let's choose a theme. To choose a theme, go here to online store themes. And by default, Dawn theme will be selected for your store. To choose a different theme, go down here and visit theme store. In the theme store, there are plenty of free and paid themes. You can select any of them. For the sake of this tutorial, I will choose the taste theme. Once you select your theme from the theme store, it will appear here in the theme library. To update your site with this new theme, you can press publish, or you can customize it even before updating your site. As there's nothing on the site right now, it doesn't really matter, so I'm gonna publish it now. Once you selected your theme, we can customize it to fit your brand. Shopify theme editor is quite user friendly. On top, you have the pages. You can select any pages of your site. And then on your left, you have the structure of the page, header, template, and footer. So first we're gonna edit the logo. So go into theme settings, go down to logo, and select your logo right here. I'm gonna add a logo here I just generated.
Here we go. The logo is right on the page. Then we're going to go back to the site editor. And I really want to update this image. So we can select an image from our computer or we can explore free images Shopify suggests us use. I'm going to go for a men's fashion picture like that. And I'm going to change it to a meat image. So here we go. We have successfully updated our homepage. Now, once we're happy with the changes we've made, we can go ahead and save it. And then let's move on to adding products. To add products, let's go back here and exit the template editor and go ahead to products, add a product. If you're dropshipping products, for example, from AliExpress, there are apps that you can add that will help you import all the necessary information to add the product to your site. So it will automatically script the title, description, and the images. And you're just gonna have to set the price you're gonna be selling at. However, for this shop, we're gonna be selling the products ourselves. So we're gonna input everything ourselves. Here we input the title. And for the description, I recommend using this AI assistant to generate it. There we go. And set the price. If you want to track the inventory of your product, you can input the quantity that you have. And you can add the weight. This allows for better calculation of shipping later. Hit save. Once you added your product, you can add that product into a new collection. Let's create women's t-shirts. Here we go. And then we can add it right here. And uh, collections are just basically groups of products. It can be literally anything. It can be items on sale. It can be categories, women's t-shirts, men's t-shirts, hats, accessories, etc., etc. So at this point, we're almost ready to sell. There are a few things we need to set up. So let's go into settings and set up shipping and delivery. There are already general shipping rates set up for us. Let's click this. As you can see, there are three shipping zones currently set up. EU, International and United Kingdom. Within those zones, there are shipping rates. So for example, if we look at the United Kingdom, there's 50 pounds and up free shipping and there's standard shipping for six pounds. For international shipping, there's only one rate, which is 24 pounds. And we have an EU standard international 15 pounds. Uh, depending on the products you're selling, you should find out the rates with your local shipping companies and set up the rates accordingly. So that's general shipping rates. However, if you want to add different rates for only certain products, for example, you have something extremely big or extremely heavy or fragile and your shipping company charges different rates for that, you can create a new profile. So to do that, go back, create a new profile right here. For example, fragile products. And then you can add products which go into the fragile category. And then also you can create zones like in the general profile. Once you have your shipping rate set up, let's move on to expected delivery dates. So this is what the customer is going to see when they're ordering. And depending on how you fulfill your orders, whether you drop ship them, whether you order them from the supplier, repackage them and send them to your customer, you should set the delivery dates accordingly. So you can set manual delivery dates and you can show them at the checkout. So for example, let's do business day to business days and hit save. Before we start selling, we definitely want to add some policies to our site. 
for example, terms of service, refund policy, and the shipping policy. So to do that, let's go back into the settings and scroll down here and click policies. The policies can be generated from templates just simply by clicking here. And you don't have to be a lawyer to do that. However, make sure to thoroughly read and go through the policies and make changes accordingly, according to your store. And then you can add the shipping policy and our contact information. Once we're done with the policies, we're going to add them to the footer page. Let's close down the settings, go to online store, navigation, and add these to our footer menu. Add a menu item. Refund policy, shipping policy, terms of service. And contact information. There we go. Save menu. Then we're going to go back to online store themes and customize our theme. We're going to go down to the footer, add a block, menu. And here we go. Our policies and our information is here. Let's hit save. Next, let's briefly go through the payments. Let's exit this editor. Go back to the settings and go to payments. So I recommend setting up Shopify payments. So to set it up, you're going to click here, select what kind of business you are, whether you're an LLC or a sole trader, put in your details and submit for verification. Once you get verified, you will be able to accept all of these payment methods including Apple Pay and Google Pay, which highly increases the conversion rate. So before we go live, let's make sure that every setting is correct. Let's go through the store details. Make sure that the store name is correct. Then we can go down to brand, add our logo. And we can add our brand colors here. Then we can set up our domain name. Hit save. Then we can set up our domain name. You can either connect your existing domain or you can buy a new domain here. Also, if you want to add taxes or duties to certain regions, you can do that here. So after all this, you're ready to go live. You just need to make sure you've chosen a plan. I'll go for the basic plan. Right, so once you've got your card verified and picked a plan, you can take the password of your store. Let's go back to online store and remove password. Right now our store is live and we can view it here. Congratulations! You've just learned how to set up a Shopify store in under 15 minutes and you're ready to start selling. To boost your sales, make sure you get our free ebook, link is in the description. And thank you for watching. Bye!